All right. Looks like we are live. Michael, do you have access to the Spectator Pro Draft, or should I send you that? I do. Perfect. Yes, I am. So it looks like classic min bands from Ethan G. And vitamin C, mainly banning out Ben with, uh, with one ADC ban. I think the real headline here is that Min is a dirty Kiana player and <laughs> will ruin your custom scrims with Kiana support and then permanently gank your mid laner because they want to win a custom scrim. That's what you need to take away from this game. All right, well, let's see if they can bring that same energy into this game. No Kiana, though, unfortunately. Looks like top lane picks first. Kind of unusual. <laughs> Not a big fan as a top lane player, must say. Not a big fan of what? A top lane, uh, top lane champ pick first. I feel like that's the the ultimate counter pick lane, and they're kind of just giving that away. Although Darius really well, isn't isn't the best pick into Shen right now. Shen, we uh, we were we did something like that in the scrim a couple weeks ago. That's right? true. Shen is just an insane champion that needs many many nerfs, so they can get away with it because yeah. The I don't know if stupid, but I don't know if this jungler plays Shen. Probably not. But this so this is probably the most important part of the draft right now. Whenever whenever Ethan G picks their jungler, because the way to beat a Mumu is by being aggressive. Uh, if you want a master class on how to beat a Mumu, basically just go watch my last game. You go to their <laughs> blue buff, you int, you die. Except you have to make the top lander steal the buff from their own teammate, and then you get their jungler really far behind, and then you just snowball out of control. So uh, if you want some tips on how to do that, just go look at the last game that I played in. Uh, it was pretty amazing. All right. Seems like that strategy should be pretty easy to duplicate. Oh yeah, have, totally. <laughs> Ethan G picking a lot of the same champions they picked last game. Getting, uh, I believe it's Guo on the Victor. Um, and unfortunately, I don't recall the name of their top laner, but the same Shen pick. So the only only difference so far is that Ben can't play Rakan as it was banned out, so he picks up Leona. Yeah, they... Um... It'll be interesting to see how... Guo plays on their team. He, I played. I played Clash with him before, and I see their we sub. Won. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a good player for sure. Yeah. Uh, I wonder. Oh, it's Men's Lux. I think well, that's almost certainly Men. Hmm. I I don't know. When we played against Men, I don't know how it's you fine. feel about. It. It's fine. Okay. I don't know how you feel about. Oh, the Lux is. Wait, what? No, What's there was five? a. Oh, it was oh, supposed to be a vibe band, but I they see, didn't I lock see, it in. Yeah. Gotcha. If if I'm playing against Min, I want. Oh no, the like, ban is vice, right? Yeah. Yeah. I always prefer Min on like Seraphine or Lux or some like non hard carry champion, because even if even if Min's getting a ridiculous amount of value out of like shields and stuff, it's not. It's still up to their teammates to carry the game. I think they're just going to be straight up damage, like full full damage Lux, right? Because I don't think I don't think they can yeah. really get away with a lot of carry champions against Shen and Leona, and yeah. Especially with Victor in lane. The I'm just saying the problem is, even if Min played like perfectly, mm -hmm. how much value are you going to get out of the Lux if you're not like how it, the 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 way to carry that game is so much more difficult. It's true. It's definitely not a not a one v nine champ. Yeah. Seems like Ethan G thinks it's Lux mid as well. They're banning out bot laners. Oh, Zillion pickup. I cannot imagine Min playing Zillion. <laughs> yeah, Min, there's a zero, not fit their aesthetic. <laughs> there's a zero percent chance that Min is playing a Zillion. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, I know Min. I know Min plays Lux. It just seems. It just seems like a weird combination. Yeah, uh, I was. I was playing in an in-house a couple days ago against Min's Lux, and it was pretty terrifying. I gotta say. Yeah, Surpr like surprising. Well, it's surprisingly good in the early game if you get a really good matchup. But there are so many bad matchups. So like being able to pick it against the Victor is nice. But even in that situation, I think. 
if this was like Grandmaster versus Grandmaster, I'm not convinced that the Lux would win. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Caustics, another very good champion. Really good with Shen as well. Low range team though. That see this is this is where like you kind of pick yourself into a corner if you're Ethan G because you have some champions that are strong individually. Uh, like sp- specifically Kha'Zix, I think is really strong right now. But then you have very low range, and you're going up against a disengaged team with a Mumu, Lux, and Zillion. So I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if they're going to really be able to dictate how the fight plays out, unless there's like an objective that vitamin C has to walk at. Yeah, I agree. Although I, I don't know, the vitamin C comp feels a little weird to me too with the Darius. I, I don't know what what role the Darius plays there. Darius is the is the tank. Yeah, it's I gonna guess. be it's gonna be I don't know. like an insane number of shields and revive and speed up. One of Darius's biggest problems is not having enough speed to get to the back line, but with Zillion, I think that it could work. I I, I do expect sure. if, I, if I think he's just gonna get kited. If Min, if Min, um, when Min plays support, they're like hyper focused on getting scuttle and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like it's really bizarre, but it's good. It's it's definitely good. Um, but I think that as Lux, I would I would assume that we get some kind of huge priority on dragons, and then Min just shoves lane, gets into the bush tries to pick off people walking towards the dragon and then build up a lead that way. I think that's a pretty simple way to win. Yeah, I really I really want to see Ethan G just focusing the top lane and trying to trying to take advantage of the Shen Darius matchup. That seems pretty tough. You probably want to go bot lane. You don't think they can get kills? You think bot lane's better? Yeah, I mean, I think Balling is, but I, I guess the problem with Balling, in my opinion, is like Ethan G's just going to be shoving, right? Unless, like Zillion and Varus can push, but I don't think they should. I think they should just let themselves. All right, just like let I get the whole. Tower. I get like traditional League of Legends. If everybody is the same skill level, like you have a lot of different <laughs> options. When you're playing in this kind of environment, I think you just want to chase down your best players and try to make plays around them. That's fair. So I, I think like Ben. You probably want to try to play around Ben. Yeah. Which is tough. It's really tough to have... Like, it's really difficult to play that way. Because as a support, you're not getting as many resources as everybody else. So, how are you really going to carry these fights? What do you think? If you had to, if you had to guess who was going to win this match, uh, I think it's probably going to be a big min carry, honestly, because I think that Ethan G is going to struggle to dive the Lux. They have yeah. Kha'Zix, but I don't think, like, I think Min is going to be far enough ahead that Kha'Zix isn't one shotting them, and after that, like, you know, let's say Kha'Zix jumps in. As long as Min's able to land a Q or maybe flash out or something, then I think they're going to be pretty untouchable for the rest of the fight. And as long as their team doesn't int in the, in the meantime, I, I don't really see how they're going to die. Yeah. Are you in the lobby? I am not. I think, uh, Jeff, are you going to set us up with the spectate? Thank okay. you. Got it. Okay. Cool. But yeah, that's um I, I agree with you. I think that's it's it's kind of similar to what Jeff's team did to to my team when you um you basically just try to kite backwards and kill the first person who engages onto you. So like in in our game, I was trying to get onto the back line with Vi, but they had Zillion and a bunch of other ways to kind of disengage. So it was really difficult for me to try to create an actual advantage in the team fights though mm-hmm. so with I, with ethan g since we're basically saying that vitamin c has the advantage how do you think that they can create a winning edge like let's assume it's an even game and it's like 15 to 20 minutes how do you 
How do you I, create I a think lead? it just has to be a really, really nice engage onto onto Lux, like with a with a Shen E flash or something. Because I'm pretty sure even if you even if he, you're, even if they get Zillion ulted, you can probably still kill them out of it as long as you have control of that area. I mean, but what it's, was pretty it's gonna good. Be hard. I, I think that they could probably play the Victor Lux matchup pretty close once they get the upgrade right. Because you basically, you I think what they would try to do is continuously shove out mid lane and then have the Victor roam towards bot lane and then try to five man bot before Lux can show up. I mean, Lux Lux out wave clears Victor early on at least because nowadays Victor's e augment takes a long time to get unless he gets that, kills. It's uh, it's he doesn't get it to like level eight, level nine. That, that's why I'm saying like, like fifteen to twenty minute mark. Mm, yeah. I, that's probably too late though. Too, that's probably too late. It's been, yeah, right. It's like a lot of it depends on how many kills Min is getting for free. Because if they're even with the victor, then it's not going to be that much of an issue. And I think Ethan G um, has a good team fighting comp as long as they can avoid yeah. getting you know four man Mumu ulted or whatever. But yeah, I think uh, that the, yeah. the the other thing we should do. Um, uh, never mind. That's a bad idea. I was gonna say that we should have the camera stuck onto Min <laughs> <laughs> and, and just talk about Min for an entire game. Dream scenario. Directed camera is rough sometimes. Imagine having to program that. Yeah. Not easy. No min focus. <laughs> Unfortunate. Rip. Where is the... I should have got the rosters in front of me. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a Google Doc somewhere. I can pull that up. Who was the one that they subbed out for Danny? Or Danny is Danny was already on the team. It was the ADC. Oh no! No, I think no. The no the, yeah, the ADC went to. Uh... Got it. All right. So legalize ranch. So I guess we start there. So what's your opinion on ranch? Should it be legal or should it be illegal? <laughs> I am actually not a big fan of ranch. Uh so yeah, I think I'm down to have it remain illegal. <laughs> remain illegal. All right. I've got some bad news for you. Uh best the best ranch is uh from Oh, Link's oh, we're on the loading screen. Yeah, okay. We're in the game. Yeah, I did. Yep. Sweet. Uh, my screen has two pixels, but otherwise we're doing well. Okay, I can see now. Yeah, do you think you can leave the scoreboard up? If you're gonna go shower. Sweet. And then, if you get to the time control down, you know, So how far behind are we? We're probably like 15 seconds behind, something like that? Something like that. Nothing too bad. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Legalize ranch, questionable. We'll have to <laughs> see how the voters' consciences weigh out. Uh, Earl the Unicorn, oh, you have a position on defended. Oh, no, it's back. Where do you stand on unicorns? A mythical beast, or are they just not real? Unicorns, yeah, I mean, I think if they were real, it'd be pretty terrifying. Those horns, like, you could really stab somebody. So, I don't know. Mm. Not sure why people are so obsessed with them. I'm very scared personally. So I, I'm yeah. firmly in the camp, but I'm glad they're not real. Wow. All right. Just as I say that, the unicorn disconnects. I'm very sorry. Looks like we're going to be having a pause. Is corrupting pot start standard on uh, Lux and Victor? I feel like you so, I don't know. When, when I. During like the middle of last season, in the height of the coronavirus, I started playing mid Lux. I mean mid uh, Zyra, and that was the only champion I played for probably like a month straight. <laughs> and I was always like, I was I would either start Doran's Ring or Ruby Crystal depending on the matchup, 
but then I started playing against like some like blatant Smurfs, like LeBlanc Smurfs and stuff like that, which is a pretty difficult matchup to begin yeah. with. And the corrupting potion start really like transformed the matchup because if I went like Doran's Ring or Ruby Crystal and they went corrupting potion, they would just destroy me. So you kind of have to adapt at that point. And I think the reason is because if, if you have the ranged advantage and you're able to like take the corrupting potions on your terms and, and make sure you're trading the right way, I think that it is a lot of extra value for uh, for the mid laner. Interesting. So I would I, I would say like if Min is forced to use the corrupting potions for health, then it's bad. And we're gonna get trade in the bot lane. That's not oh good. no the cheese. Varus, down goes Varus. Yikes. Varus that actually is... had flash and heal right there. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean. I don't I think... hate the fact that they didn't use them. Yeah. But you're gonna lose a lot of XP. I think I think it's worth it to flash there. Or even like I think heal is enough too. I guess Leona did have flash though. Well, I think they took so much damage before they even like realized what was going on. Yeah, yeah. But like right before Jin flash fourth shot did. If you can flash before that happens. Like maybe yeah. Jin doesn't flash you you end up trading your flash for the Leona Ignite, but at least you get in the lane and don't miss stuff. So Guo is currently up in CS after the first two waves. That's a win. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much first couple waves matter, but I guess uh, <laughs> it is very, very low on mana. Corrupting for pots dark being harvest. chugged. Yeah, there's so many dark harvests in this game. I was kind of confused by that, honestly. On Varus, it's a little weird. Lux, I also think it's unusual. Usually the thing about Lux is your your combo is QE ult most of the time. And in general, your ult is going to kill them from more than half HP if they're some kind of squishy. So I'm actually uh -oh. not a huge fan. Wow, what a snare. Yeah, that's that's probably ult. Oh, the, the re-engage? That's wow. one of the most satisfying Lux. things that you can do as a Lux is hit yeah. a double binding during a gank. So Darius is doing pretty well in the top lane. Min, Min, I think, is the kind of player who feels pressure and uh, feels like the responsibility of like carrying their team or trying yeah. to carry their team. So when put in this spot where Varus dies level one, I think that Min's probably in uh, pressing mode already where they're trying to create some kind of advantage. So that, that gank is going to kind of mess things up. They got a really good back off. I mean, I don't know. Just looking at the waves on the minimap, it looks like they pretty much lost nothing for that. They're going to be up five farm or so. And mm -hmm. Yeah, and the fact that Victor flashed as well is really, really big. It means they're not going to be at a huge disadvantage level six once the kill pressure starts to come in from both sides. Yeah, so as an immobile mid laner, it is really scary to not have your flash. But if you can control where the wave is, then you're fine. Yeah. I have like nightmares during that. Oh, what? Whoa. <laughs> wow, what a flash. He lands the E, too. I, I really don't think Jin was ready for that engage, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Looks like Ben saw the opportunity and just went for it. I can I can definitely relate. I do that all the time. My team has no idea I'm going in. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Sometimes hey, I'm going to just... teleport as Jax. No, don't do that. That's not good. Oh, he's here already. <laughs> Sometimes you see the line and you just you have to take it. Yeah, Zillion flash Excellent forward. Gang from Mumu. Looks like Jin's <laughs> sacrificing himself. Oh, trying to trade back a kill? Can he get the fourth shot? No. Min. Yeah, Out Min of left comes field. down to, to take the kill. <laughs> the roaming mid is the the deadliest. That is classic. This is like what season five, season six, when like roaming mid was like the the only thing that you could do. I mean, sometimes it even feels like that nowadays. Still, I like they've they've been trying to change it away from that, but maybe last season, at least in solo queue, when it was like. Pike, Katarina, Talia, Talon. and Talon were the four best yeah. mid laners, and if you didn't play those, you were going to play against one of them, and they would just shove in the wave with Tiamat, run bot, get two kills, come back, shove in the wave, repeat. Yeah, I hate, Very those. Painful. I hate those players. The Tiamat change definitely pushed them back a little bit, but it hurt top lane too. That sucked. More expensive Tiamat. Yeah, I guess the only really good Tiamat users are 
like tanks with Titanic right now. Actually, no, Ravenous. Ravenous is interesting. Pretty strong. What was that? I said Ra Ravenous is pretty strong. It sort of depends. Like it got it got worse for some people and better for others, just because it lost a lot of AD. But the fact that it's Omni Vamp and that abilities apply the cleave makes it yeah. pretty interesting. <laughs> Nice dragon pickup from Kha'Zix, looks like he kind of just sneaked it. I believe the cr correct pronunciation is snooked it. Snooked it? Alright. <laughs> Little trade in the top lane. Darius going in for the kill! Trade flashes. I, I think... Maybe if he popped a ghost a bit earlier, he could have... Could have had that. Maybe he wouldn't have even had to use flash until after the Shen flashed. Do we know what the... Um, rank difference is between those two players? I, it's, I legalized it's similar, right? is silver too. I don't know about Anjumo. I thought he was gold. Anjumo might be. I'll look it up. Yeah, it looks like gold three. I in your games, what do you think the most important role has been so far in preseason? Preseason? Oh, probably jungle. Feels like yeah. Back hole. Yeah, jungle's still pretty insane right now. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, especially just like with how polar it feels like the like champion tank card from the balance. Junglers are strong, are really, really strong. Like Kane, once he gets a uh, core drinker, is just ridiculous. Jin like with the flash end. forward. Yeah, Jin keeps getting kills off that, but it looks like there's a, a gank coming in from mid laner and jungler. Shen ult comes in on Jin. They're turning it around. Double taunt. Beautiful. It's a kill onto Min. Wow. Great turnaround yeah. from the channel. That's that's the scary thing if you, if you're Min is you feel like you probably need to go bot lane and make these like roaming opportunities turn into something, but it's really tough to do that as Lux. Yeah, that's just a straight you, up three for zero. Yeah, you have to you really have to like time everything perfectly because not only do you have to like shove out your wave, run down as Lux, who's not like a fast champion compared to a lot of other champions. And then you have to hope that the other team is over aggressive, either like shoving their wave too far or trying to gank or something like that. The other thing is, I, I do believe that men actually ulted to clear the wave before roaming bot, which mm -hmm. meant that significantly worse damage once they arrived. I don't think it would have made a difference in that situation simply because the Shenton was absolutely beautiful, but. Still can be problematic if they if they have to commit their strongest ability just to pushing out the waves that they can roam. Yeah. So we have CS leads in three out of the four lanes for vitamin C, but they're still losing by two K gold. Pretty. Yeah, weird. I think the the Shen Darius matchup's going about as expected. Darius gets to bully in the early game. Um, oh, another engaged ball in. Wow, it's going to be another kill. It looks like. Jen is going to have a super early eclipse. Oh. Do you know a shield for that Q. If Oh, that's another Wow, kill they now. tower dive. If you're if Darius cues a siege minion, do they heal? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's lar it's large monsters and champions. I know what the tooltip says. <laughs> oh, I, think... I, I mean, it might be bugged this season. I know last season when I was playing ranked top lane a lot, I definitely know it did not heal on cannons. But this season, I've not played. I thought. I, I think when I was watching um, when I was watching Mauricio play the other day, I, I could have swore I saw a a, a cannon oh, minion finds heal in the jungle. This is this is bad news. I don't think you need to flash, but he gets the kill all the same. That's really unfortunate. You know, I was going to say, uh, looks like Team Vitamin C falling more and more behind, but at least Min has gotten a couple kills. They did trade one uh, on the mid laner when they were losing on the, the rest of the sides of the map. So as long as their bot lane can sort of stop dying, stop getting caught by Leona engages, maybe there's a chance. I mean, Jin with Eclipse is really easily pickable by the Lux. Yeah. That's, and they have, they have Shen yeah. ult, but that's about it. That's the, that's the tough part about this about this game like we know that it's basically like is min going to be able to do enough damage in a team fight yeah 
to to turn a team fight, and it seems unlikely. I mean, th if if I was if I was a uh, vitamin C, I'm probably thinking to myself, how can we create some kind of like Baron play or Dragon play where we force the other team to walk at us and get some kind of insane engage? Yeah, because that gives a Mumu right. an easy way to get in. It gives like a potential Varus ultimate additional strength or like a Lux pick or something like that. But right, it's way easier to get Lux picks, especially when you have like when when you're running away from them. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I mean, top lane, silver two versus gold three, I think right now the gold player is winning. In the jungle, we have gold two against silver three. The gold player is winning. Uh, actually, not really. I think the, the Amumu is doing a really good job at, at just continuously farming. So I guess if you're vitamin C, you just hope that card goes lives. for a few ganks and uh, it doesn't work out. Did that Amumu Q hit on Leon? I couldn't tell. I guess it didn't. No, they missed. Oh, beautiful combo by men weaving in the auto attacks to make sure they get just enough burst. Mm -hmm. That's really important to do before you get your items as locks. If you land the Q, you have to auto E and then ult. The ult consumes a stack of your passives, so mm -hmm. you can you can skip out on one auto there. But it's very important to to hit the other ones. Lux is a very satisfying champion to play, but it it is pretty difficult to For like sure. win. To win games just because wow. you have a Lux on your team. Look at what's going on bot lane. Varus completely denied all of the farm. Yikes. Bot lane. It's. Oh. Oh, this is a dive waiting to happen. Zillion Gold. ult is down, it looks like. Gold silver against diamond plat. <laughs> yeah. I think that sounds about right. I am surprised they're not going for the dive. Maybe they don't know where Amumu is, but I think with Zillion ult down, with Varus ult down, no sums except Zillion flash, like this is sort of the textbook time to dive. Even just 2v2, I think they can do it easily. I think I, I think for the bot lane specifically, it's so much easier to play the Jin Leona side of this matchup. Yeah, I agree. So when you're when you're at a like potential rank discrepancy or deficiency plus on the wrong side of the matchup you're just you're asking so much of your players to, to do it the right way i think they just had to let the jim leona push there's this uh, kind of play happening top doesn't look like anything oh what wow. an ult wow the, um, the amumu ultimate misses the yeah. luck <laughs> ultimate should have missed but it didn't miss well, I mean, the Mumu got the Shen flash out, and then mid landing the E for the slow just before the ult barely makes it hit. But anyway, what we're saying about the bot lane, I think the the way that they have to play that as the Verizillion is just let Jin Leon a push, because Jin naturally pushes waves whenever he queues to get a CS, it just shoves the rest of the wave. And mm -hmm. he has to do that a lot just because of the way his four shots work. Like, if he's ever reloading, he needs to queue to get a CS. So I think the way they're supposed to play that is just let Jin Leon a push, stand under your tower, and Jin Leona can't really poke you, so you just kind of farm under your tower and give up Pryo. And your team's going to lose dragons, but that should be all you lose. If you try and Varys. play up a contest, then you're just going to get killed over and over again. Varus dies once again. Yeah, I think now it's at the point where they can actually be dove 2v2, and that's, that's where it gets scary. It's. I think you kind of have to give the the credit to Ethan G because in in pick ban we said it's probably the correct. Well, I said it's probably correct to play around who should be your best player. And yeah, although Kha'Zix didn't even really that. help them. I mean, they were like two v. Well, they 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 two v four that one time with the help of the channel. Yeah, so true. I guess three v four. But yeah, I mean, aside from aside from Shen, I don't think Kha'Zix has really been there at all. It's really just been them pod diffing. Yeah. It, it, I guess it, it's so much more difficult, like when it's caster versus caster, to to create that kind of advantage in the mid lane. Like if if Min had something like the Kiana or like an aggressive uh, a mid laner that could trade aggressively, I think that's really how you want to play the game. Because when we played against Min. We played, I think, either Malphite or Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath mid, and our thought was, you know, try not to die, and yeah. then eventually you're going to be fine because you're going to be really tanky, and we'll be safe. 
How did that work out for you guys? Uh, we won. We won okay. quite nice. quite easily. Uh, because you know, jungle dev. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our game versus men was was really interesting. We we draft if them hard, I think. Like I, I they was were it the a Cassiopeia game? Yeah, no, no, that was the game against Jeff. Um ah. no, so I believe I was playing Vein Top. Yeah, it was it was my Vein Top game and Men was on Kiana. Their team was all AD. So naturally, I'm building very tanky Vein. Um and it was at the point where, like, I was pretty much able to 1v4 them late game. Even though we lost the early, we lost the mid game. Like, we, we were losing hard in pretty much every lane. But just because of their team comp, like, we started winning team fights around the 25 minute mark, even with, like, all of our inhibs down and everything. But it got to the point where, because they had Cloud Soul, Min was just running around the map, creating pressure at, like, three different places at once, and I just could yeah. not possibly match it. And even though we, even though we like, we would probably win four v five, maybe even three v five team fights at that point because I was so strong. I just couldn't be in every place at once, and so they ended up um, contesting Elder while Min was pushing top lane, and I had to go back to stop Min, and then I get Elder, and we could yeah. not fight him with Elder. So it was just really well played by them, just creating pressure everywhere. Yeah. So during a uh, story time with Thomas, uh, Min almost one shot the Jin, was unsuccessful. Uh, Dragon was taken by. Uh, vitamin C, and that's about it. I mean, the two th so the two thousand gold, uh, with the range difference, I think that roughly like two thousand. If you can create good game states as vitamin C, you're probably still alive. You're, you're not dead yet. Yeah, I mean, th thirty five hundred of that gold advantage is on the gen. Thank you, Jeffrey, for for showing that just now. Um, so I think yeah, if they're managed to get a pick on the gen, it's it's really an even game, probably even advantageous for, for vitamin C. Even if yeah. you take both gen and locks out of the equation, I think they're up in gold. Well, I mean, even if it, it bas it's it's basically like if you're vitamin C and you can eliminate one champion on the enemy team, you're winning. Yeah. For like thirty to forty seconds. Unless oh, your Darius no. just dies. That's not that's <laughs> How many dragons do they have? Sorry, my screen's very pixelated, I can't it's two to one. Two to one? Okay, got it. Yeah, I have both open. I have the Twitch open and the uh, Discord yeah, open. Yeah, I might, might start doing that. Yeah. <laughs> try try, try uh, streaming or uh, uh, shoutcasting on the streamed version that we're watching with everyone else. See how that works out. <laughs> Not a good idea. I'm not sure uh I'm not I'm not sure what you can really feel comfortable playing around if you're vitamin C because you need to you need to take on tempo somehow. How do you, how do you create that tempo right now? You could like try to force a dragon fight or something like that, but I think they just have uh, to try and build. like out I would macro the enemy team and get picks. I don't I don't think they win 5v5s right now like unless they get a great engage on the gen. Mm -hmm. I think like Jin just hit the collector spike. He's really, really strong right now. But if you're vitamin C, I mean, how do you even create like a positive tempo play when you're down in towers? I I think it's just picks. Like you just hope that the, the enemy team makes a mistake and you catch him in the jungle or something. Like right yeah. there, it almost happened where Min, Min just hit a Q on Kha'Zix, but he was able to get the leap off before the Q hit. I'm not sure I like the lethality of Varus. Actually, I honestly don't know what's good on Varus right now, but I thought I mean, they were trying to shift him on hit. Good. Yeah, I, th I thought they were trying to shift him towards towards on hit builds, and the fact that uh, Team Ethan G has a couple of tanks, you know, Shen and Leona both both very tanky. I think on hit might have been better. They're gonna have a lot of trouble stretching through them unless Darius gets five stacks. Yeah, if if you're uh, if you're losing. As very oh, that was almost a pick. Burning Victor, cleanse flash, but unfortunately not actually killing him. If you're if you're Varus, do you think that you can kind of shift between builds relatively easy? Like like uh, when you're going into a game, if you're ahead, you go one build. If you're behind, you go another build. Or 
It's hard because you really press the attack, right? If you're gonna uh, go lethal on, tempo, yeah. usually, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, like you, you definitely have different runes. So I think once you take Dark Harvest, you're sort of committing to going lethality. Mm -hmm. But you definitely you can switch. It's not tough against Leona. I mean, well, yeah. So at that point, I guess you probably want to pick the Varus before you decide what kind of Varus you're going to be. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Because they had Shen Leona when when the Varus was picked, I think, right? So I th I think that's when you have to decide that uh, it's either you win the early game, you snowball, you can be lethality, but if you're up against that many tanks, you probably want to go on hit. It also might just be, on hit might just be really bad right now. I I don't know. Okay. After all Blast the games, nerfed. Ult misses from Whoa. Leona. Late Leona ult, yeah. 4k. This is looking like a team fight. Flash engage onto men. Oh wow! Beautiful zillion bombs to keep them alive. That this feels is the so problem. bad. They're, they're not hitting Jin, so like even though Min lands a nice double snare, a nice double ult, everything, it really doesn't think, do anything. It's not I think that was a triple. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe yeah. Like three or four people with that. They ultimate. just lost no health. I mean, it, it was yeah. they were they were all the tankiest members of the team. That's that's not good. Oh, Min finds a pick! Too little, too late. Maybe, it's something. It's a shutdown, it, too. It, it needs, th that needs to happen again. Oh, Burns the Jin cleanse, too. Jin did not need a cleanse right there. Uh, they they should have known Min's ult was down after just killing Victor with it. I don't know, I think... There's, there's still a chance to get the Miracle Jin pick and get some massive objective off of it. Yeah, but you it needs to be like Channel's down. Oh wow. Well oh, Darius gets the five stacks off the ult. This is a good wow. team fight for them. The double kill for the Darius. If I'm them, I'm probably just running they straight towards the Baron. They yeah. need the Baron. If they don't Baron right here, they're losing the game. There's no way. Well, if you well, take if you take lost, mid, if you take mid tower, I think you can kind of feel okay about everything. Uh, I I think they need some kind of big advantage here. Baron has gotta be the call. Because, well, okay. We were, if we were they, talking about the difficulty of not having tempo chances. I think opening up the mid lane, you, cr true. you create more chances for you to get but a pick around a Baron or something like that. You don't think if they go for Baron, they can just recall him and take mid afterwards with the Baron siege? Like, I think it's hard to, it's hard to you stop. You could. Them. It's it's like a it's like a catch twenty two. It's like if you take mid, it makes Baron easier. It makes Baron easier, but also picks easier. If you take the mm. Baron, it makes taking the mid, the mid lane easier. I think. Also, uh, if you went to Baron and then tried to make them walk at you, I think you get a chance again to fight. But I don't know if they had ultimates to fight again. Yeah, so, but it was it was five v three, so I feel like even even without ults, they should still be able to win that. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some, I've seen some <laughs> tragic fights. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I think I think they were. I, I think they still are honestly desperate enough that like they should go for Baron just for the massive gold swing it represents, and because it takes that objective off the map for another six minutes, because. Right now, I think they're still in a situation where they need a Miracle Lux pick or else they're in trouble. Like, this fight, I think, is going to be disastrous for vitamin C. Yeah. I think oh, the, I think the, the way that I was... Wow. No! He's one out! <laughs> the way oh. that I was looking at it is basically, like, no matter what decision they make in that fight, I was going to be okay with it, because at least they're making a decision. Like, so many teams yeah. just do nothing. So, Baron's still bot lane. Four players should die. Be, it should be inhib then, Baron. Yeah. Well, they might they might not go for it because they don't have their jungler. It's pretty typical uh, for this yeah, level maybe. of play. I I think they can still easily get away with it. I mean, they have enough damage with the the gen. Can they do it? Yes. Should they do it? <laughs> Probably. Will they do it? I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. Take take me and him definitely took longer than I thought it was going to. I guess they don't have a very fast way to kill a turret. I really would have liked to see them just go Baron instantly then. I think inhibs are honestly overrated, especially mid lane inhib. You get some pressure out of it, but they're not even, like, I don't know. 
realistically, yeah. it's like one or two super minions that you have to kill when an objective is up, and then in between that, it's just giving them free farm. Yeah. So 4.5k. Again, yeah, the it's still the it's still big. the range. Like if you can if you can create a fight as vitamin C, then you have a chance. But I think it's probably too simple for Leona to get in. It looks like they're trying to engage off the back of this general. Luxner misses. Okay, engage is called off. Yeah, I didn't really like that engage just because Jen was so far away. Dragon spawning, 45 seconds or so. They're starting up the Baron. Interesting. It looks like Vitamin C doesn't know. Maybe they'll be able to sneak it with three people. Shen's running interference top lane. Ooh. So they got the Shen, but trade away the Baron. Interesting. If they can turn it into a dragon, then it's fine. Right. I think vitamin C should have priority on the dragon here. Does Wow, that's some nice poke coming out of Victor. Jin shouldn't have ultimate because of what happened mid lane. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it, wow. The, the Victor poke just got them all so low. Wow. Yeah, Victor's Flashing in off. 1v3. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Flash is on the mid. Yeah, they're all going down. Wow, the 4v5. That's that's why it's it's so important to give yourself like an easy way to play the game. Like we, I, it does happen to us sometimes in uh the, like the A team when mm -hmm. we get put into a draft corner because of like lane matchups and stuff, and we're not really thinking about the over overarching team dynamics. But it's it's really so much better when you have these like simple ways to engage a team fight, simple ways to do damage. You you just why make the game more difficult than it has to be? You know, so... I think I, this is gonna be game. Uh, it's 3v2. They're just targeting the Nexus. They have supers barreled up. They switch over to shooting the Darius. Uh, I think they probably should have just ignored him, honestly. They might not be able to end now. KDA players. <laughs> wow, they're making the call to pack up. It was... Yeah, I, don't know, I guess with men spawning, that's fair. Nexus is so low, though. I'm pretty sure they could have just face tanked the Darius and Mumu and ended. Yeah, and even if you die, I mean, what's the issue, really? Like, the game would be a little bit closer, but the chance of losing seem really low. Yeah, I think they're probably fine. They just need to play play aggressive, look for engages like they've been doing. And, yeah, they should be fine. Oh! Wow. Soul <laughs> stolen by Vin's laser! Wow. wow! That's actually huge. That gives them <laughs> hope in the team fights. I was thinking to myself, wow, Min missed by a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> they were aiming for the dragon. Yeah, I'd honestly forgotten they hadn't taken the dragon because they went to end instead. I, I think ending was the right call, but the fact that they end up losing the dragon off of it makes, it, makes me think it might have been better if they just took the soul. But I, I still think they should have committed to the end, honestly. They, I think they could have. Yeah, it's like a... Uh... When you have that, like you can't, you can't know for sure that you're gonna have that opportunity again. Yeah. If you if you make one or two really bad plays in the next couple of minutes, where you get picked off, lose a team fight, give up some shutdowns, give up some towers, like that could have been your best chance to win the game. So it's it's a difficult decision to make. Oh, the bush camp! Wow, they get the pick up. I I don't think they get anything out of this. There's no objectives up, but at least it relieves some pressure. They have time to, you know, wait out the rest of the Baron. Um, oh, I guess Baron just expired. But, you know, it means they can they can hold on for a bit longer, wait until their inhib respawns. I think Ethan G is probably just looking at next Baron, honestly. Yeah. Min's build is kind of interesting. Ludens. Another pick from the content. same bush. When is Ethan G gonna learn? There's always Never. two people sitting in that bush. 
Oh, they're going in anyway? No gin? Uh -oh. uh, this is a throw. Yeah, this is this is getting pretty bad now. So I mean, uh, again, anyway, I don't think but... they can get much, but yeah. you, you you should probably shove down mid lane and then try to invade for camps around their red buff. Yeah, or even just like to try and get vision in the river. Just yeah, do do something with it. Yeah. Do something. Oh my god. Victor, Victor just completely one shots Ferris. This is really turning into the standard solo key game at this point. Just people dying left and right from picks in the jungle. Yeah. Victor's no fear at all. He's just pushing top, potentially against three people. Looks like he's finally going to back up a little bit now that men's back. Yeah, Danny plays this Victor very, very aggressively, and it's been working out for him. I mean, he was like 1v4 on the dragon and completely held vitamin C off until his team got there. I forget if we had Guo on Victor during the clash that we played. I think that was when Victor was still broke. Well, not broken, but needed a nerf. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Ethan G's looking mid lane. Oh, a pick on Jin? Cleanse is just fast enough. Wow. It was very close. But that Lux laser's on a really, really low cooldown. I think this yeah. bodes well. By the time the Baron fight happens, Min has ult again and Jin doesn't have cleanse. So it's they're going to have to rely on a very fast channel to try and save him. I mean, if Min hits a Q, I think you need to be probably within a second of getting yep. a shield onto it. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty pretty tough to react to, especially if you're not looking at the gen immediately. Mm -hmm. It's something that, like, the, the shen needs to be... Oh, wow. Another one shot at the Ferris. Blink and you'll miss it. Min misses wow. a flash Q. Darius flashes in. Jin is still bot lane. This is the fight they want. A Mumu ult. Oh, it doesn't hit Victor with the ult. Darius still picks him up, though. That was pretty surprising. I, I thought that once the victor kind of got into that outfield, that it was going to be completely fine. Yeah, you, I think Jin you still probably want to push up for Baron or Dragon at this point. It, you're in a spot where it's like, you know, if if we lose a fight, the game is over. But if you don't fight, the game is over. Oh, no. Oh, Min gets a... Oh, the Zanyas! Top watch. That would have killed him, too. Wow. Unlucky. That was a beautiful Q by Min, but like, did he even have vision? I guess, or they, I guess they must have had vision after the Kha'Zix leap. But wow, that was insane reactions to, to Q behind them and then immediately ult. Great, great play by the Kha'Zix, too, to stop watch because he was definitely dead. Darius. Oh, Chasing Dead Man's playing. This is a pick. This is a pick. Den has flash, though. He's the timer. Oh, wow. Den flashes the Gore Drinker, or the Stride Breaker. I don't even sure which item it is. This should be a kill, though. That is Dragon okay. Soul. So, blue picks up. Uh, yeah. Looks like basically <laughs> trading Soul for a top lane pick, but I think they should try and get something out of this. Maybe Baron or something? Uh, I guess Shen has ult, so it's. It's hard to make a play when he's instantly in the fight the second he spawns. Will is having a mental breakdown in the Twitch chat right now. <laughs> What's going on, Will? Run, Darius, run. One word. Top lane, you know, impossible lane to play. <laughs> Riot Games, why you do this? League of Legends, broken game, game over. <laughs> I really don't like the Nomicon from Min. I, I don't think there's that much healing on uh, on Ethan G's team. Nomicon yeah. is no longer the flat magic pen item they used to be. It's it's purely grievous wounds, and I I really think delaying their death cap is going to be extremely costly right now. Yeah, they they may feel like getting the Horizon Focus, you're getting that huge damage amplification, anyways. But I mean, death cap stacks on it though. I mean, it's it's just yeah, yeah definitely more. Oh wow, Victor. I Victor think there's a ton right there. We might yeah, actually, actually be able to get it there. This is an opportunity for, for vitamin C. Blind Lux combo on the Baron. They probably should have waited until they had vision. What? Wow, they steal anyway! 
Wow. The Amumu got a three person ultimate. That's a <laughs> oh my beautiful God. team fight. That's gonna be an ace. Wow. Yeah. I mean, Jin can't take down the tanks. All right. Again, yeah, again, so uh, th if anybody who's wondering, yes, Jin, worst AD carry in the game, <laughs> uh, doesn't do anything, uh, can't fight tanks. Um, but I mean, now this this is kind of what we were talking about a while ago. It's I'm pretty surprised that this actually has gotten to this point. Baron buff is worth at least 2k. You get a couple of towers, you're going to get most of this lead back. It's just the waves were in a pretty bad spot um, for vitamin C. They're not going to try to end, are they? I don't think they have the time. Actually, the, the Jin death timer is very long. So I, the, I think they should back off here. Just the fact that Danny's going to be up, yeah, he's, he's very uh, scary. So what I would say is if, if you think that you could get another pick under those towers, then I would not hate going for an end because with Infernal, giving them the chance to reset if it turns into a 5v5, they're going to have so much extra damage in these team fights. Yeah. It, it, like, it, I know you're basically saying, like, if we tried to end it right there, maybe it was a 30 to 35% chance of winning the game. Once they reset and it's like a full regular team fight, yeah, I feel you like think it's you're, lower. Yeah. I, the, I get that. I honestly, I think they might have. Maybe they should have tried to get, like, one Nexus turret and or look for a dive before Jin spawned. But yeah. I, th the problem with that is, like, I think that. Wow! Went, oh my God! It's another pick. I think the important the important distinction to make is we're not saying that any of these decisions are easy ones, like that you can know for sure right. in the game that you're making the right decision. But it's like that. That's why I like playing aggressive all the time, anyways, because I just assume that it may be the last chance I have to make that kind of play. Which Min's Medtize has started stacking up a lot after that team fight. I was kind of confused team? why they bought it earlier, honestly. It was at like zero stacks to five stacks for the longest time. Yeah. Finally up to 18. That's really big. The movement speed is huge. When does <laughs> the move kick in? 10 stacks. Okay. Used to be 20, but they buffed it to 10 like last season sometime. So, yeah, that was a really nice cue from, from Amumu, uh, just guaranteeing the pick on the Kha'Zix. I think they should honestly try and push with this. Abyssal, but I think Abyssal's pretty insane right now. Like with yeah. the, the champions like Malphite and Amumu. Oh, the flash Q out of Amumu! Lethality oh. Varus with the half health Q. Wow. They're going to so, pick on it. They need to end. They need to end right yeah, they now. Need to connect, they need to connect all their players mid and try to end the game. Their Baron's this expiring in a matter of seconds, but I think that they can still pull this off. I mean, they have Kha'Zix and Jin both dead. Run, Darius, Darius run! Darius, join your team! They're gonna. I think they can end the game. They, they need they to die. They need to. Well. Right? Well, they gotta go before Kha'Zix spawns. This is a good pick on Victor. Okay, he flashes. Now it's really awkward. It's 4v5. I think that Ethan G holds this now. I, I honestly would have loved to see them just go for a super aggressive dive 5v3. I don't think they're done. Oh. Min is probably telling them to just Hold stay. on. There's still 15 seconds. Then with the flash wow. on. I think that wow. was a I have no idea who's winning this team fight. I honestly have no idea. Oh wow, it looks like vitamin C coming out on top here. Beautiful. Wow. ADC not being alive makes the difference. Tries to wow. go for miracle save, but it's gonna be too late. Oh my god. And how did vitamin Min, C clutch that? Yeah, Min managed to carry that fight. That's insane. I have no idea how that just happened. So that's that's why like the amount of value that you that you can get out of a champion like Lux once you get to this point in the game where you're shielding three Okay, thanks everyone for coming. My Discord bugged out, so yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have more games tonight, so tune in then.